Hi guys, Sandy here. So it's been a long time since my last tutorial. So today we will make another tutorial because it is the beginning of the school year 2021 and 2022. So our topic for today is about describing mixtures or this is about mixture. So what is mixture? Mixtures are combinations of two or more substances that can be homogeneous or heterogeneous. So there are two types of mixtures. These are homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. What is mixtures? When you add a water and a sugar, it will become mixture. When you add salt into the water, it will be mixtures. And when you add um, stones to water, that is mixture. Your pizza, that the pizza that you are eating, that is mixture. So let us identify the two types of mixtures. First is the homogeneous mixtures. The homogeneous mixture is a mixture which has a uniform composition, meaning you can't see its particle. Okay, so for example, when you add salt into the water, when you mix them together, it will become mixture and that is what we call homogeneous mixture because they have a uniform composition. You can't identify where is the salt in there, right? Because you dissolve it in the water. So you have a salted water or you have a salt water. You cannot identify, oh, this is the salt. Oh, this is the water. So that is what we call homogeneous mixture. Another example, a sugar and water. When you mix them together, you can't identify where is the sugar there because you can't see its particle because it is already dissolved. So that is also an example of a homogeneous mixture. Another example is the air. The air in our surroundings, <clears throat> it composes of different types of gases. Okay, so it has oxygen, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, xenon, neon, krypton, helium, and a lot more of gases. So that is an invisible mixture. Air is an invisible mixture of different gases that surrounds the earth. So that is also, we can, we can also identify the kind of mixture as homogeneous mixture or a uniform composition. Okay, so another example is in alcohol. The alcohol that we are using when we wash our hands and then after we put in alcohol, the ones that we are using to avoid the coronavirus, Alcohol is a mixture of an organic molecules like carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen atom. But you can't identify where is the carbon there, where is the hydrogen there, and where is the oxygen there, right? So that's why we call it as homogeneous mixture because it has a uniform composition. So let's go to our second kind of mixture that is heterogeneous mixture. So this mixture has a non-uniform composition. Compared to homogeneous mixture which has a uniform composition, this mixture you can identify and you can see its particle. For example, when you are making a fruit salad, okay, so you are mixing them together. But when after you are mixing, mixing them together, you can still identify what kind of fruit is this. This is apple, this is banana, this is um, oranges. So you can still see and you can still identify the types of fruits in your fruit salad because they have a non-uniform composition. Meaning, when you mix them together, you can see, you can still see its particle and you can still identify its particle. So that is what we call heterogeneous mixtures. Another example is oil and water. When you add oil into the water, of course, you can still identify because the oil and water will separate each other because water is more denser than oil, so oil is in the top and water is in the bottom. So they are separating each other and you can still identify where is the oil in there and where is the water in there. So that is what we call heterogeneous mixtures. Another example, stones and water. When you put small stones into the water, you can still see see the stones right you can still you can still identify oh this is the stone this is the water so that is also what we call a heterogeneous mixture another your pizza the pizza that you are eating okay so that is so delicious you can still see that there is the hot dog there is the cheese there is the onions there is the um what what are the other components of pizza you can still identify the pizza the 
pineapple, you can still see the pineapple because that is a heterogeneous mixture. So you can see its particle. You can still identify its particle. Though they are mixed together, but still you can identify its particle and you can still see its particle. So this is our first tutorial for this school year, um, describing mixtures. So um, bear in mind that mixture is a combination of two or more substances that can be homogeneous or heterogeneous. And homogeneous has a uniform composition and you can't see its particle like salt and water solution, sugar and water solution, your coffee solution, um, what else? Uh, alcohol, air, so that are homogeneous mixture. While heterogeneous mixture um, has a non-uniform composition, which means you can see its particle like fruit salad, you can still identify the, the fruits, the water and stones, the oil and water, you can still identify its particles. So that's all for today's um, video. Thanks for watching. See you in our next tutorial guys. Bye for now.